What's up, my triple oven YouTube friends? Well, we got Nords all back together. Last time we rode this sled was in February, and that's when we had the crank issue. We had a bearing go out on the crank. It was a fresh rebuild on the engine. And the bearing went out. We sent the crank back up the northern crankshaft up in Thief River Falls. They took care of it immediately the same week. We had the crank back, boom, done. And then it sat around here. Things got busy. Uh, other sleds were, were doing other sleds, taking care of getting other sleds running. And Nords just kind of got pushed off to the side along with other projects sitting in here. But riding was already over. I mean, the, the last time this thing was out, riding was pretty much done. I think we got one more weekend after this went down and it, it just went from you were able to ride on the lake to not even able to ride at all. So anyways, we finally got it back together and we went a different direction. Uh, originally, Trenton was gonna put this motor here, which is a bone stock storm motor. He was gonna put it into three fingers. And we're sitting around one night, drinking a couple bush lights, brains in a can. We come up with the bright idea. Instead of two mod sleds, because this would have been a mod sled and this is a mod sled with that built storm motor in it, Let's just have one mod sled. So we'll put the built storm motor in here and put the bone stock motor in Norge. Norge is a fun sled, it's fun to ride. So, and even that built motor was in here, it was very trailable, but let's just eliminate some of the headaches. Let's reduce them down just a couple. And so basically all I did was take the, the cylinders that were on your bone stock bore, stock bore cylinders, we did the water manifold modification like we did on the other motor. So we drilled and tapped these out for the water bypass. Helps them cool a lot better so they don't get them hot spots on the cylinders. And I also did a mild trail porting in them. After, if you've ever seen a stock storm cylinder, the porting on them is freaking horrendous. If you hold that cylinder next to an ultra cylinder, dramatic difference in the porting. So I just took, did a nice trail port job on it. And uh, this thing should run really good. And it's basically a stock and a stock bore. We did jet it up a little bit, anticipating with the porting, it's gonna breathe better. But Norge is all back together. She's ready to hit the trails again. Trenton put some white CNA skis on it. He uh, actually gave them to me for one of my projects and he decides at the last minute, sorry dad, can't have the skis, I'm gonna use them. So uh, now I got my eyeballs off for a set of white skis to go along with this other sled I'm gonna build. And I haven't revealed that sled yet because I don't know if it's going to happen this year. i got so many other projects ahead of it, but I think it will. I love being overwhelmed with work. I love being super busy, and I'm sure I'll take it on like I do all my other projects. Just keep piling them up. So Trenton's going to fire it up. This thing's about to head out of the shop into our storage shed for the rest of the summer. So we're going to get a little bit of triple music here. So why don't you go ahead and fire it up, Trenton, and uh, let's enjoy the sweet sounds of the storm. and thoroughly smoked it up here in the shop you know a lot of lots of assembly oil in that engine right now so plenty smoky so there it is Nord's back together uh, it's great to hear this thing running again uh, this thing is ready to dive onto the snow I mean if we got snow in July we'd be riding you know it wouldn't be an issue at all for us so this sled's ready to rip this one's gonna go and take a nap for whatever how long it takes until we get snow again and uh, We'll be out on the snow with this one again, guys. So thanks for watching. Please sub and uh, comment. Love the comment, guys. Talk to you later.